Hello everyone, welcome to the Innovation Lab. I was recently called out on a YouTube short video where I showed this modified inductor design that I use for one of my uh, DC to DC boost converter hacks. Essentially, the uh, person in the audience was saying that because this inductor only has a few windings that is not appropriate, that is actually gonna act as a piece of copper wire and it's gonna cause the uh, drive MOSFETs to blow up. So um, the only thing I'll say to this guys is that before making a comment, first of all, go ahead and watch the full video where I actually take the time to explain everything that I'm doing, explain the inductor design, and also make sure you do your research to know exactly what you're talking about. Yes, I do have a, an LCR meter here that I use to verify the inductance of the inductor to make sure that it fits my design. And I also showed in the previous video my inductor design tool. So there's a lot that goes into the actual design of these inductors. We're using these many strands here because of a concept in physics called skin effect. And this is not something I can fully explain in this video. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is to quickly test inductor so you guys can see the inductance value. And for that, we're gonna use our LCR meter. And we connect our meter. We turn on the LCR meter. And we simply attach the uh, probes. All right, so as you guys can see here, we're seeing 0 0.015 uh, millihenries. So when you do the conversion, this is about 15 microhenries, guys. In a nutshell, guys, so this is not just some random winding of copper wire around a uh, toroidal core. So this is an actual 15 microhenries high power, high efficiency uh, power inductor. We can also test this one. And as you guys can see here, this one right here is a 33 micro Henry power inductor that I'm using for the synchronous parallel DC to DC boost converter series that I'm working on. All right, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe.